and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the cheapest training method in the game right now. So, pretty much, I made the updated list, the updated chart. I've made this video in quite a new while, to be quite honest with you guys. So, kind of excited to be doing it. Hopefully, this helps you guys get your training needs, which can help you with getting abilities, X factors, powering up cards, using your power pass, and so many other things you could be doing with this, guys. And now that they did add the training refund, like, personally, one of the best things they've actually done since the day this game dropped was add a training refund. Because before, guys, I want to call it like other, most of the Madden community had like training anxiety that like you want to try out abilities on your players, but you didn't want to waste a hundred thousand coins and then not like it and then now you'd be stuck with it. Or you just didn't know what to try. You want to wait till you found the perfect combination or YouTuber posted the perfect thing. Now you can literally buy anything you want and you can refund it for 90%, which is like you lose a hundred training. Okay. So you lose like maybe 5k, 4k worth of training and you get to try something. That is not bad at all. That is one of the best things I've added all year. It also helps tremendously like okay fine this is the training option i'm gonna power up dallas clark all the way give him three abilities and next factor oh wait a new tight end came out next month perfect i just i, I, re, I refund everything i power him down maybe lose like 50 to 70k and i'm fine i'm more than happy with that like that's not bad you still get value out of him but that's what this list is for so you guys can get your proper training needs so make sure you get it really efficient so that when you refund too you already got off such a good deal you're barely losing anything now guys i have the updated chart 80 through 93 now i don't really i shouldn't really be giving you all these because some of them are ass but i'll skip through the, the ones that are really bad i'll just go through quickly and the ones that are really good i'll talk about a little bit because i don't want to waste too much time now guys before we get into this video make sure you're down below hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell and comment down below come join the family boys i greatly appreciate each and every one of you that come out here we're grinding towards 12k so let's make it a reality boys and also Give this video a big thumbs up. All you guys who watch on Sundays, my Sunday fam, that come here every day and watch my videos, always give a big thumbs up. Guys, Sunday's a slow day, so I appreciate each of you that come here on your family day and still watch every morning. Okay, let's get into this. So, first value, obviously an 80. 80's pretty ass, not gonna lie, so we're gonna kinda get through that one quickly. The lower ones start ass and they start getting really good for the majority of the time quite after that. Like, on, honestly, after that, not bad. So, Sheldon Richardson, 80 overalls in general, 7K just about. If you filter them out properly, it's 7K. You divide that by the 190 training value, you get 38 coins per training. Now, and if I sound a little sick, guys, so I have allergies to cats, and it's been a... I don't know, I think it's on my sweatshirt. I must have been out somewhere that had it, and it's really getting to me this morning. So sorry about that. Next, the 81s. 81s go for 9K. So, 9K divided by 265, which is their value, is 30 coins per training. So far, we're in the 38 and 30 range, which is not great at all, considering the point the game's at right now. So going over to 82 to 83s, we got them going for about 11 to 12k. And if you divide that by 365, you get 38 coins per training. Again, pretty disgusting. 83 overalls. Let's see where we're rocking with for 83 overalls. All right, so 83s. We got 17k. You can probably get them for around 16. You divide that by 505, which is their value. That is 26 coins per training. That is a lot, a lot better than the other ones I was just saying. Definitely a big improvement, although I don't think that's even the best one at all by any means. So we're still going back up. So 84s, right? 84s go for about 20k. You filter them out. And obviously, I don't filter them out on the video because I'll take way too long. I did I do it before the video. I write down everything so that I'm ready for the video. 84 overalls go for 20, 21k. Divide that by 700, that's 32 coins per training. Again, not too great. We're going backwards now. Then 85s go for about also 22. And then 26 so this i want to i'm gonna i'm gonna round them to around like 24 25 because the 22 is probably just a cheaper price and eh, 23 ish that goes for about 85 divided by 97 that's 22.6 points for training so that's so far the best one we've had that alone is a great training value now the 86s to 87s they go for about 30k flat when you filter them and 30k divided by their training value of 1340 is 21 20 point one coins for training so that is the cheapest one so far on this entire list so remember that that's a great value right there now 87s 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 42 42,000 coins divided by 1860s 20.9 coins for training so we got back to back 20.1 and 20.9 so we're in the 20 range so we're looking pretty good so far when it comes to these training values like that's a great training value like you could stop there if you really wanted to but let's keep going on 59k divided by 2640 you get 21 coins for training so that's slightly like literally just barely over the others 
And remember guys, quick little advice, if the trading values are super close, don't sell the card to go get the better one. Cause like, listen to this, so 87s are 20.9 coins of trading, right? This one is 21 coins, a little over 21 points for trading. That point two or three that it's better than it, I'm just letting you guys know, if you sold this card, so you can go buy the other one, you're going to lose more in reduction than it actually cost to just quick sell that card. So if it, unless it's like, if it's like 10 to 15 points of training or seven to eight, whatever points of training, points of training separated, yeah, you could sell this card and make it, you have to do the math first because sometimes the reduction of 10K or whatever will actually like, that's what you're saving. The 10K is what you're saving on the card. Just think about it, right? So make sure that you're always checking the values first because if you do end up selling a card, a good one would be 80s. They go for 38 coins for training and 88s go for 21. Yeah, you could sell the 80s. You don't want to quick sell 80s. You want to sell them on the block air coins and then buy these cards. But remember, always check the reduction first. Because if you do not check the reduction, you might actually end up screwing yourself even more. So let's go over to the 89s. Wow, a lot of those cards are selling out. 89s, 89s. I remember before when I looked at them, they're about like 70k flat, 75-ish. Divided by 35, 70, you get 19.6 coins for trading. So before this was actually the cheapest value in the game. So 89s are looking like the best value in the game as of now. Me personally, I think that's a great price. See, you never want to buy the most expensive stuff. If the trading values are, are just as good for the low stuff, always go low stuff, right? Because see, if you buy 93 overalls that go for like 13,000 training, you got a lot of training, right? But that costs you 320K. And it's not the best value. It's it's like tied for the best value, but it's not the best value. So think about that. You end up with 13,000 training and you're down 300K. Do you really need 13,000 training? Unless you're buying like Sprinter or one of those things you want just a ton of training. Typically, always go with the lower ones because you could you could get what you need. Like it's like going to the grocery store. You want to buy what you need. You don't want to buy for weeks and ahead because then things start going bad and you don't really need that. You could have saved the money you might need it next week. You know what I'm saying? So never go all out at once because you never know when you might need those coins. So like me, I've I've had days where I've spent 600k on training and just had it stocked up, and the next day a car comes out. I'm like, oh crap! I wish I had those coins right now. So always get the cheaper ones. Like 75k is nice. You can get two of these 89s. That give you about 7,000 training. You'll be more than okay with that. And you might not even need that much. You might just need the power one card. You might just need one. And even then, then not even a lot of training, but it's pretty cheap, so I can't really judge taking that for the training value. You know what I'm saying? But wow, training is crazy cheap right now. Powering of cards has never been even it's never been cheaper. Alright, let's keep going on. 90 overalls. Let's speed this up a little bit. I feel like this video is getting a little long. 90 overalls, they go for about 102 flattish around there. They go for 4,940 training, so that is 20 coins per training. Again, tied for one of the best values in the game, although the 89s have a slight edge on most of these cards. Now, where are these 91s? 91s, 91s. All right, obviously, I don't think Justin Tucker would be the best one, but I think it's, it was around the 150 range. Let's just double check to make sure. I saw some series redux are pretty cheap, too. 91s. Yeah, I guess they're around the, the 145, 139 range. So those go for about 20 coins per training depending on what price you got them. If you get them in that range of 20 points of trading, again, not a bad price at all. Now, 92s, 93s, this is where it gets a little trickier because these cards are more of the cards people want, so the prices vary. Uh, those other cards are more for training. These cards are like cards that actually people want to start in their team, so the prices are still going to vary. At 206, 211-ish, these 92s come in at 21 coins per training, which is great. And then the 93s, starting with, I believe, Peyton Manning, they go, they go for 24 coins per training. So the recap, 93s are not the best training value anymore. 92s are close, 91s are basically tied, 90s are great, and then 89s are the best value if you get them for the right price. So, in essence, these are the cards you can really use for any interchangeably. 85s, 86s, 87s, 88s, 89s, 90s, 91s, 92s. Those are the ones that you could literally use interchangeably. 93s aren't that bad either as long as you get them for below 320. But the cards you don't want to use are the 80s, the 81s, the 82s, the 83s, the 84s. You don't use those. Anything above an, pretty much anything above an 84 overall is a great training value. And like I said, the difference between them is literally one or 0.1. So you're gonna actually lose more coins trying to close that gap on the coins per. So like I said, anything above an 84 overall is a great training value and do not hesitate to use it because what you sell them for will actually hurt you more in the long run. Unless you want training in bulk, right? Then go buy the bulk training and sell this. But that's really up to you. You could just buy a bunch of those same overall cards whatever floats your boat but guys that is about it for the video thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel go down below turn on that noti bell hit that subscribe button boys come join the family let's keep growing noti gang you guys have been crazy with it every time if you made it this far in the video comment down below say what's up comment noti gang if you you know you're here first or whatever and also give this video a big thumbs up boys keep smashing the like button all you sunday viewers always hit the like button i like to know say what's up that you're here on a sunday and that's about it guys thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys next video peace